Hey guys, this is Kamiguno, and today I'm doing a review for Hi-Fi Fight Club Issue 1. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Kamiguno episode this week, and if you want to go check out that show, description below there will be the exclusive comics and the episode itself, uh, and that will be posted by Thursday. But let's start talking about Hi-Fi Fight Club Issue 1. Uh, this is a book I was really stoked for. Uh, I read the premise, and it looked exciting. It looked in, in tone for stuff. I like. Uh, so I was really excited to read this one. Uh, love the cover here. We, we get to see all the, the different characters that make up the Fight Club. And I really like that the facial expressions and the stances really show their personalities. Uh, especially Chris, our main character, is like, what? What's going on? Because uh, she is the fish out of water type character. Uh, so gorgeous artwork. And going into the interior artwork, um, I loved it. I, I love the energy put into this book, um, the bright colors, the facial expressions, just everything. Um, I love the styles for different, um, all the different characters. It just worked. Really loved the art style. But let's see what's going on with the story. So with this issue, uh, we meet Chris. Uh, and this is the year 1998 in New Jersey, so it's a suburban area. And Chris is your average girl. You know, she just got a new job at this vinyl store, and she's, you know, super excited about it. And she's trying to understand the terrain of the vinyl store, uh, because she is new. She wants to make good impressions. She wants to do more. Uh, but she's still trying to figure out that environment and her relationships with the different, uh, employees. Uh, so the... The panel time we get the most with uh, is between Chris's crush and, uh, well, Chris and her crush, who is Maggie. Uh, and for Chris, she's the cute girl, and, and that's kind of her um, personality. She's bubbly, and you don't know if Maggie likes girls or not, so it's Chris saying, oh, does she, doesn't she? So that's kind of uh, the will-they-won't-they they aspect of the book. And then... Other characters we get to meet, uh, Logan, who is one of the boyfriends of the co of uh, Chris's co-workers, which is Kennedy, who knows everything about music, so they're in a relationship. You have Irene, who's the cool boss, and then my favorite description uh, being uh, Dolores, who is the resident goth, who also is Chris's arch nemesis. But Chris doesn't think that. It's Dolores who said, you're my arch nemesis, so I thought that was a fun little description. So, as the comic goes on, uh, they're preparing for this in-band signing uh, for the store. And, of course, it's Chris's favorite singer. She's wearing the shirt, and Maggie says, Hey, you know, you're so bold. Uh, it's actually bad luck to wear a t-shirt of the band performing. And she's like, Oh, God, and that's kind of her biggest worry, until we find out that uh, the singer has been kidnapped. So now Irene feels like it's time to tell Chris what's actually going on in the vinyl club and that is that they're fight club uh, so they're it's actually a front for a fight club and they're gonna go try to figure out what happened to the singer and how she got kidnapped and i like the little clues throughout the book where they're trying to um bring this image of normalcy for chris and uh they're like punching boxes and you see maggie has uh band-aids on her so you know something's up so once you get to the ending chris is like what did i just walk into uh and she's a really interesting again fish out of water character but also just to kind of throw that exciting incident to kind of be the, the eyes and ears for the the reader also so chris is such an awesome lead but all these characters have such a fun dynamic it's only issue one but the personalities seep throughout the whole entire script slash comic but also the mystery is really well paced for the book too so it's not just character interactions also this mystery of who kidnapped the singer and what can the fight club do about it so honestly i thought this was a perfect issue one i loved it i really can't wait for the next issue i think it's only a mini series which is kind of upsetting. I hope this becomes an ongoing. I'm really trying to spread the word about this one. So High Five Fight Club Issue 1 gets five stars for me. Most likely going to be my pick of the week. Uh, I just haven't finished my books yet, but I have a feeling it will be. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.